Hello guys and girls and welcome back to Let's Play Final Enchantress. Uh, this is episode 2. Um, I'll do a quick recap of what we did last game. So we, we founded our, our first city. It's uh, Ali Hakla. Weird name. I think we can rename it but we'll just leave it for now. We'll let the game do its uh, its own way. And what, we, what we've what we done is we've recruited uh, our first champion and started uh, scouting with our champion and our, uh, our main guy, our sovereign. Uh, killing off some things, getting some experience, but most importantly, we we were exploring and we found a lot of tiles where we can expand. So uh, what we'll do is we'll, we'll get some uh, some pioneers out and we'll actually uh, get some new cities early on. It seems quite good. Uh, we also saw this uh, this rock elemental army, which of earth elemental, sorry. Which is pretty strong, so we'll have to avoid that. Uh, so I think we'll, we'll go north. There was not much else to the south. There were some mountains. Uh, I think there's something on the other side. I might scout there eventually. Um, but for now, I don't think I ended my turn. No, I didn't. So I'll, I'll just hit enter quickly. So for now, we'll just... Uh, oh, we have actually our first pioneer finished. So I, uh, I'll i use I'll use them to, uh, to get some new cities. Um... I don't know if I will go north or south. I think I'll go for the south one first. I think I uh, I put my mind on this one. And uh, I'll I'll actually start clearing off everything uh, around their base now with our main guy. So I'll have him uh, move back a bit. I'll still use this guy to scout, um, but I'll stay away from uh, the the strong army. So I'll move around like this. And. Actually, there we go. Camera is uh, being a bit dodgy. Uh, we'll end this turn. Ah, our settlement has grown a level, so we can uh, specialize. I'll, I'll say our uh, our town, and um, depending on your on the stats of the tiles which you had at the beginning, you can always uh, look them up by hovering over it. So uh, we have a food. Of five, it says plus twenty per grain, and in brackets it's five, so five food. Uh, we have a three production and two essence. So depending on on the tiles, um, different options would be would be better. So if you have higher production, you could use a fortress, or if you have higher food, you could use a town. So I I don't know why it's given me a conclave here, since two essence is pretty high as well. But since our food is is five, I might actually go for a for a town. So town enables town improvements and increases the zone of control by one. So it will it will grow a bit bigger. And select this to dedicate your city to growth and final pursuits. So financial, sorry, not final, financial. Um I actually wanna wanna uh grow this city pretty pretty quickly I guess since it's it's in a pretty secure location. We have mountains on the on three sides. So uh it doesn't matter that much if we, we don't have that much defense so we'll go for a uh, town. There we go. So, we don't need those uh, messages anymore. Um, I'm building a second pioneer for a, a second city in a second. Wow, a second city in a second. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we'll, we'll just continue on with the city. I mean, it's, it lo it's looking good so far. And we, we need our main guy back to uh, kill off some stuff. So, let's have him move. This guy do some more scouting. And this is a, an interesting tile, wild horses. You can build a stable to produce horses. It's pretty good. Gives you more movement and stuff. Um we might even make some uh, mounted armored unit. Would be cool. So we'll have these guys. I don't know why why they're getting sent like this. Next to the there's there's some wolves here, if I remember from last episode, so I'll manually move them a bit there we go there's the wolves I don't want to pass next to them in case they uh, decide to attack me so we moved all of our guys yeah so we'll hit next turn and this guy we just let him scout some more actually want to see what he discovered he discovered even more tiles and here, this is something interesting as well. Though. So, uh, since we were being an, an, an empire, we had to uh, 
choose at the very beginning if you were a kingdom or an empire. Uh, this is a unit allied with a kingdom, so this would be a champion you could recruit if you were a kingdom player. But since we're an empire player, we can't, so we can just kill them off. They're pretty... It says weak, but they're still stronger than us. I'm fairly sure, yeah. They've got uh, 57 HP. So we'll leave them alone for now. We actually have uh, this arm here, which looks pretty scary. This is a pretty strong army already, even though it says... Oh, it even says strong. I thought it said medium. So... We'll just keep moving with our guys. And we'll move on to the next turn. So our city border has grown as you might have noticed, so it was a pretty small square, but it's it's grown bigger now. And we actually will get our uh, second city there. Well, it uh, jumped away immediately. So we have our second city now. We can uh, put some enchantments on it again, like we did in episode uh, episode one. So we'll go for enchanted hammers. Gives plus one material to the city. And I will go with meditation again, like our first city, because uh, we are still low on mana. As for construction, um, let's see. I actually think I'll build a logging camp first. It's it's low on the build time, and it uh, it will reduce further build times even more because it gives more production per material. And after that, I want a bell tower, because it reduces unrests in the city. And if you remember from episode 1, we took some uh, some penalties to uh, to unrest building our character, uh, which makes building in the city somewhat slower. So we, we might want to cancel that out. So we'll build a bell tower as well. Um, we'll have this guy move towards the camps and we'll have him scour a bit more but we're getting we're getting some some more tiles some interesting tiles this one would be good but it's next to the strong army I don't know if I should risk it so he has no moves left this turn so we'll just leave him there uh, he has no moves left either so yeah let's just end this turn and Let's start uh, actually clearing our uh, area now that we uh, we want to settle some cities here. So uh, I'll attack this army. And there's three little guys now. I know they're pretty weak. We can uh, you can inspect them uh, on the the right side of the screen, or I might actually double click them, and we get uh, more detailed view. So they are pretty weak. They're frail. One minus one hit point per level. They're weak, so minus one attack and minus fifteen weight capacity, and they're inaccurate. But they do have some spell resistance, and they use clubs. So, uh, we'll actually we'll actually be able to to kill them fairly easy. So uh, we'll just move, and uh, yeah, just I'm I'm not in their range yet, so they they can't they can't attack me yet. But uh, they're getting in my range though. So we'll move over here. Take this guy out. And I don't know why I didn't counterattack there. That's actually weird. I, I did counterattack that guy. I don't know if it's random uh, who you counterattack, but fair enough. We did it counterattack. Actually dodge there, as did we. Oh, I think I know why. He was using a spear. That guy and spear guys are immune to uh, counterattacks. So we leveled up to level three even. So uh, we get to use uh, or pick another trait. I think I might go with uh, tactician two. Gives another plus one to initiative, so we get uh, more turns. Since this is still a turn-based game, and we'll move over there to find a mushroom, which uh, is a healing uh, healing item. And. I actually don't want to end up next to this army since it might attack me, but I'll go for the treasure. We find some ale. Use to increase your maximum hit points by one. There we go. Got one hit point. And let's see, there's actually the ocean here. So this is the border of the map, I think. So I might actually go south to 
check what's uh, under these mountains. Or I could go north and check what's up there. So we'll see in a second what the... But uh, I actually see the treasure icon over here. I might actually go north then. I go south with a, a later guy. So we are out of moves. We'll go to the next turn. And let's see. What's this? This is a treasure chest. Huh. Okay, so we are getting close to these guys. We will uh, clear them out. There's actually some uh, three guys. That's that's actually good good experience, I guess. We'll start off with the the butcherman. This is a special kind of unit. This is uh, even gets the first attack. Actually, when I click on him before he dies, what this guy does is uh, undying curse. When he kills a a, a a unit, so an entire unit, he uh, adds a copy of himself. So he can he can make uh, a lot of copies if he kills units. Which can be quite good. But seeing as it's only one for now, we can deal with them easy. So we get some uh, money for that as well. And we get a burning dagger. Uh, this is actually. I need to go to the equip screen of this guy. I think that might be a better weapon. Uh, so we have a rusty sword, which is 8 attack, gives us minus 2 initiative, and 1 counter attack per round. This gives us also 8 attack in total, it's 6 cutting and 2 fire, but gives us plus 3 initiative. So that's uh, that would be a 5 difference, and gives us plus 1 counter attack per round. I'll, I'll use that weapon. So we have an initiative of 30 now instead of 25. 30 is pretty high actually. That's, uh, that's a good sign. And it looks kind of cool. <laughs> uh, so let's see, this guy... I can he can only move one tile now instead of two because he's moving through a through a swamp which reduces his movement. Same thing with the the forest. And we have no more moves left, so uh I'll go to the next turn. Well, since we're in a pretty good spot now and are fully healed, I'll just do uh two combats in a in a row now. Unless they get uh damaged too heavily. See, see how, uh, since our initiative went up this much, see how much turns we get in between each of his turns? That's, uh, that's pretty good. So, uh, we have a lot of turns now, we can uh, easy close in on him. He's gonna, he's gonna start kiting us, but uh, not for long. Done one combat and I might actually s well heal up first so I'll just let's see what's this I don't know I sometimes you get these journals or letters or stuff and I don't really know what they do I think they're just informative I don't know uh, I'll just uh, leave this guy here and let him heal up and with this guy I'll take the treasure Find some uh, some throwing knives. Interesting. Can uh, can we equip them together with our daggers, or will it? Oh yeah, we can. Um, but it does put our weight up by too much, so we would lose initiative. So I'll just unequip those. Wait, actually, they don't add weight. Huh. Interesting. So what? Oh, it's the hammer, the war hammer. Which uh, adds to our weight. Anyways, okay. So this guy has no more moves left since he's still in the swamp. And we'll end our turn and attack these guys next. So again, three guys. Let's see their moves. They can move up to there. So we we will actually skip our turn and let them come to us. So, now we can actually move in and start killing them. There we go. 
That was an easy battle again. And let's pick up their loot. Another silver fluid, I think we have one already. And we'll scout north, now that we've went north anyways. I see some more mountains. Which could be... I think it's just one mountain <laughs> in the middle. Um, we have some more pioneers coming up. I think it's a couple more turns. And this city constructed its logging camp. So it's going to start on the uh, the bell tower. And... Let's see... I might actually go this way since there's a, a passageway. To see what's over there. And we see uh, a bone ogre, which is a strong creature. So uh, we'll leave him alone. And underneath it's an ogre lair. If you build uh, an, a camp here, you can recruit ogres once you've learned Wildland Allies. So we'll just end our turn. And we have a technology research, charms. So since we were going for uh, for heroes, I, I'll do the shard harvesting first. And have this guy move again. And also, our uh, pioneers are finished, so uh, we'll have them move over to uh, somewhere over here. And you may have noticed, uh, I didn't talk about it earlier, but as soon as I settled this city, all of the other tiles with uh, numbers next to it uh, disappeared. So you need at least six or seven tiles. It's one, two, three, four, five. So six tiles between cities, or five between cities. So you have to move six away for the, the next one. Or is it seven even? I don't know. It doesn't matter that much. You can see you have to stay away from, uh, from it a bit. Also, once you connect the city, with his borders to your uh, your main city, that will be uh, good for the. Um, this is what I meant to do for unrest. So you have uh, territory not contiguous or contiguous. I think it's contiguous to uh, to the capital. Adds plus fifteen percent unrest. So we might want to connect that up at some time. Um, this guy has no moves left. This guy has two moves left. So. Uh, Start moving over there. So we see some more mountains. I actually want to see if this is a full ring. That would be interesting. So we would have a pretty good defended area here. It would be pretty hard to to uh, come in this area and kill us off. So uh, we'll move to the next turn. Actually close those tabs. Need those. And we still don't see anything new. And let's see, where do we actually want to settle our uh, our new city? Let's see, I actually want to quickly use this guy first to see if there's any more tiles. There actually is. A new tile, I think this is a new tile we got, so there might be even more up here. So we'll, we'll have to just move. Um, let's move over there. Oh, we see another champion. Ha! Huh. Interesting. Well, we might recruit this guy. What's what's? That oh, is a it's a girl actually. It's not a guy. Natila. She's a she's a cracks. Yeah, it's a defensive uh, race. She's a, a hunter. Gets more attack versus beasts. Uh, she's an earth and an air apprentice. So she has some spells because of that. So, uh, that's good as well. Might actually, uh, if she's not too expensive, might be a. Uh, a good addition to our uh, our army. And oh, these guys have moved left. Uh, as does this guy. Let's see. We see mountains here. Uh, you can see them uh, in the fog a bit. So we have a pretty secure location over here. So uh, what I actually might do is um, try to pick. Uh, even if it's a, a bad location, try to pick this location. It's it's worse than the three three one for example or the two four one, but I think it will enable me to uh, pick up this little spot as well, which is a pretty sweet spot. 
I actually might want to count one, two, three, four. I don't, I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six. I, I hope I won't make a mistake, or else I'll just take a, a four tree instead. So <laughs> we'll have them move over there actually. So that will take in one more turn. And let's do that turn now. Actually, I hope I uh, I didn't mess this up. I really want this both these spots if possible. So, ooh, that was a close one. <laughs> we we still have this uh, this good location left. Um, and we've got a, a third city even, which only has one enchantment though. Unfortunately, I'll uh, I'll go for enchanted hammers. You can you can replace enchantments uh, after after a while, but for the start, extra production is uh, very handy. And I'll actually go for a uh, training of some more pioneers. And same thing over here after the. Actually, won't wait till the farm is finished. I'll uh, get some pioneers, and if I want them earlier in the queue, just drag and drop them. So I want them second. And we'll see what uh, this one has to say. This unit requires a 108 gildar for recruitment, so we have 106. So that's that's gonna take us a turn. Can uh, can wait a turn, no problem. Uh, seeing as there's there's nothing else here, we'll just uh, just move this way again. And let's see. Um, actually, might want to pick up this guy or girl. Say that wrong again. <laughs> and we'll pick up this treasure. Another shroom. Them shrooms, yo. <laughs> and we'll attack the spiderling. I think that might be uh, the last turn we do this episode since uh, we're getting close to half an hour again. Might even be more, I think, if I went way over. Although, couldn't be. So we'll just uh, do this combat. I'll, I'll just... Uh... Let's see, how am I going to do this? I'll just pick up this treasure. Some boots. I actually want to trade them. Because uh, this guy doesn't have uh, high armor yet, so trade those boots. And you can equip them. And... Let's see your weapon. You have a short spear. Let's just... You, you can stay with your uh, your weapons. It's this one, I think. Yeah. I think I'll, I am close to half an hour, or at least 20 minutes. I, I want every episode um, to be around 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So, uh, what I'll do now is I'll, uh, I'll end this video here. We've, we've made some progress. Uh, we've got some goals. Uh, for example, getting this tile, doing some more scouting, uh, connecting our cities. Actually, want to do that next, so that's why I'm making some pioneers. Um, but that'll be for, uh, for a next episode. So, uh, Tune in next time.